Hi, I'm Abhishek Kumar, and today I'm here with Jean Banco, Director of Product Marketing for Vplex and RecoverPoint. Welcome. Thank you, Abhishek. Uh, we are here to talk about Vplex and RecoverPoint and how it extends data protection capabilities in an extreme IO environment. Uh, now, everyone knows that for workloads that require the highest performance like VDI and databases and uh, virtualized, virtualized environments, extreme IO all flash arrays are the way to go. And we have seen huge market adoption for these workloads, uh, but uh, data protection needs such as continuous availability, data mobility, and replication are paramount, and in fact, are even more critical for these workloads that require the highest performance. Absolutely. Workloads that leverage extreme I.O. represent the most critical workloads for organizations. So downtime from planned and unplanned activities can seriously impact a business operations, employee productivity, and significantly impact their bottom line financially. In a recent study, an unplanned outage costs on average of about $500,000, and its duration can dramatically impact how much it actually is lost. So downtime is something that our customers are really obviously uh, looking out for. Uh, as a platform, Extreme IO has shown five nines of availability, even more than that. Uh, but is there something that uh, uh, Vplex increases that number, increases the availability numbers, and can you talk a little bit, little bit to what are those component failures that can cause impact to the availability? According to some recent surveys, the greatest causes of downtime are component failures at 61%, power loss at 48%, and data corruption at 32%. Mm -hmm. All of these causes will impact business operations and cause downtime of mission critical applications. And if you look at the top two, component failures or power loss, mm -hmm. these two can even cause site failures. For example, you can have an extended network outage in your entire data center, or a power grid in a regional area can go down this will cause an enterprise to declare a site failure and actually want to fail over to a secondary site. <laughs> so Vplex, working along with Extreme IO, provides unique continuous availability capabilities within the data center and across data centers, eliminating all unplanned downtime as well as planned downtime for the storage infrastructure. In fact, Vplex has demonstrated greater than 7.9's availability for the entire application infrastructure if deployed with our best practices. Mm -hmm. So let's see a demo of how this works in the real world. Our demonstration environment consists of two sites that host Oracle database application data using Rack on site A and site B. Both site A and B include an extreme I.O. array that is part of a Vplex Metro cluster. There is also a third site that hosts a VPlex Witness virtual machine. Witness is the arbitrator that monitors the heartbeat of the VPlex clusters and can distinguish between a site failure and a site partition. In the Unisphere for VPlex GUI, we can see a virtual map of our cluster in its current running state. We can also see that VPlex Witness has been configured as a virtual quorum at a third site. Under the Provision Storage menu, we can see the volumes created for our Oracle database environment. These volumes have been provisioned as an active-active distributed virtual volume mirrored across Extreme I.O. arrays. Using SwingBench, we can see a workload running on the virtual volume exposed by VPlex and hosted on the Extreme I.O. arrays. And we can see that there are 200 active concurrent users. To demonstrate continuous availability of the environment, we will simulate a failure at Site B. First, we will shut down the Oracle Rack nodes at Site B, simulating that those hosts have gone offline. Next, we will shut down the VPlex environment at Site B, simulating that the storage environment has gone offline. In the Unisphere for VPlex GUI, we can see that Site B has gone down. Using SwingBench, we can see that the workload has continued operating despite the failure at Site B. The workload at Site A continued operating without disruption and without manual intervention. And when Site B operations are restored, those workloads can be brought online non-disruptively. 
That's very impressive, Gene. Uh, so essentially what we are shown is an entire site can fail and there is the absolutely no manual intervention, no disruption, zero downtime, zero data loss. And the applications had 100% uptime, right? And the business continued to operate. So that, that's really impressive. That kind of continuous availability would certainly pro, uh, protect the customers from a whole host of outages. Uh, I've also come across some customers who have a heterogeneous environment, different kind of arrays, obviously with different kind of performance profiles, and say at the end of the quarter when they have a special report to run, they want the workload to be moved from a traditional array to extreme I.O., run the reports, obviously it runs very fast, but from an application perspective, they don't want to take any outage, right? And is that something that VPlex can help with? Absolutely. VPlex can help with migrating workloads from spinning disk to extreme I.O. to take advantage of the higher I.O. throughput and then back again to spinning disks when the workload no longer needs that high performance. Mm -hmm. This could also be helpful in situations where the customer wants to refresh their storage arrays mm -hmm. or even expand the number of X bricks in a single extreme I.O. array. Without VPlex, any of these planned activities will result in downtime and disruptions to the application data as it's migrating from one array to the other. So let's see a demo of how VPlex allows our customers to migrate data non-disruptively from a traditional array to Extreme I.O. Our environment is now configured with the Oracle workload running on spinning disk arrays. As you can see, the transactions are roughly 6,000 per minute. VPlex can non-disruptively move this workload from spinning disk to the Extreme I.O. all-flash array, even on production workloads. In the Unisphere for VPlex GUI, we can see our virtual volumes configured for our Oracle database. As we drill down on those volumes, we can see that the virtual volumes are currently running on spinning disk. Non-disruptively migrating volumes across arrays can be done through scripting or through an easy-to-use, wizard-driven process. In this example, we select the volumes that represent the Oracle database workload. Next, we select the Extreme I.O. arrays where we want the volumes to reside for fastest I.O. processing. The migration job can be named and saved to be used again at a later time. We can set a transfer speed that meets the priority of the data migration job. In this case, we're mirroring data from spinning disk to extreme I.O., all the while I.O. processing continues against the spinning disk copy of the data. Next, we must commit the job to complete the migration process. Once we've committed the job and the process is complete, I.O. is only going to the target array, in this case, the Extreme I.O. all-flash array. And again, we can drill down and see that the Extreme I.O. array is the host for the volumes. Now that the job is committed and completed, Transactions per minute increases dramatically as hosts begin to make use of the high performance of the Extreme I.O. all-flash array. That's really cool, Gene. Uh, so you can really migrate the application. We saw that the application migrated from a traditional array to Extreme I.O., and the application never knew anything about it, except that when it is running on Extreme I.O., it sees much better performance. Right? So that's really, that's really impressive. Now, uh, we talked about the continuous availability and data mobility. What about data corruption? So if something goes wrong, do we recommend customers that, sorry, you have to back up from your, you have to do a, a restore from your backup? Or is there something of a more graceful solution there? So in those cases, you want to restore functionality as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Backup is good for some use cases, 
But when your recovery point objective is a, is a matter of a few IOs or seconds, and your recovery time objective is a matter of a few minutes, then you need a continuous data protection and remote replication solution that can provide you with optimized RPO and RTO and recovery to any point in time. So VPlex enables Extreme IO to replicate with Recover Point, which delivers unmatched operational recovery and disaster recovery for the most aggressive RPOs and RTOs. So let me show you how that works. Once again, we have Extreme IO at two sites. In this case, we have Recover Point at a third site set to replicate from site A to site C. In our Unisphere for VPlex GUI, we can see that site A and B are configured in a metro cluster and that recover point is replicating from site A. We can also see that VPlex Witness is configured at site C. Witness is the arbitrator that monitors the heartbeat of the VPlex clusters and can distinguish between a site failure and a site partition. Under the virtual volumes properties, we can see that recover point protection is enabled on our Oracle Rack database virtual volumes. We can go to our Unisphere for recover point GUI to show that our third site has been configured. In this case, we are using a VNX array, but you can use any block storage device supported by VPlex and recover point. In the protection view, we can see the consistency group created to protect the Oracle database production data at site B and replicating that data to site C. Recover point journaling is crash consistent replication. In order to have application consistent replication, Recover point supports scripted or orchestrated bookmarking that puts databases into hot backup or coiesced mode. In this case, you are seeing the CLI process that would normally be a scripted process to create the point in time bookmarks for application consistent recovery points. Recover Point provides operational recovery to protect against data corruption or viruses and disaster recovery in the case of an entire site failure. In this example, Remote replicas of the Oracle data volumes at Site C are mounted as part of the recovery process. Easy to use wizards take you through the step-by-step -step process of restoring and mounting copies of your recovery volumes. In this case, instead of using the latest copy of the data, we use an application consistent copy that we created with a bookmark earlier in this demo. Recover Point restores a replica copy of the journal to the storage location specified. Once the restore is complete, the Disaster Recovery Oracle Rack host can begin accessing storage at the new location. The CLI process you see now would be an automated part of the Oracle Recovery script that restarts host and mounts volumes at the new location. Within a matter of minutes, we've restored access to the databases at Site C. Hosts are running and users can now begin logging back in. In our newly restored application environment, we can watch as users begin to log onto the database and transactions begin to occur. We now have a successful recovery to our third site conducted in just a matter of minutes. 
again, uh, very nice. So uh, that's definitely the kind of protection that uh, business and mission critical workloads that run on Extreme IO need. Uh, so how often do you find customers turning to VPlex and RecoverPoint uh, to provide continuous availability, non-disruptive mobility, and replication for operational and disaster recovery? So we see a very high overlap of VPlex and RecoverPoint being deployed in the same data centers, protecting the same mission critical applications. In fact, VPlex and RecoverPoint are now combined to deliver much of point topology, an industry unique, three site business continuity capability that can withstand a two site failure with just one DR copy. So MetroPoint topology combines VPlex Metro with RecoverPoint continuous data protection and remote replication to deliver comprehensive operational recovery and disaster recovery for any distance. And MetroPoint topology is now supported with Extreme IO and other storage arrays at the third or DR site. Nice. So, uh, well, EMC data protection solutions are truly comprehensive in that sense, and uh, they can ensure continuous operations and protection against data corruption, as uh, and other issues that we see that we saw in the demo today. Uh, no wonder EMC is the largest data protection company in the world, right? So, uh, do you have any pointers if customers want to learn more about VPlex and RecoverPoint and the MetroPoint uh, solution? Yeah. So, to learn more, our customers can speak to their EMC sales reps or certified reseller partners or they can just come visit us at emc.com. Thank you. Uh, thanks for coming over and showing the integration of Extreme IO with VPlex and RecoverPoint solutions. Uh, thanks again. <laughs>